And uh, I just like to take this opportunity to briefly uh, have some reflection on this uh, 20th anniversary of the uh, family. Um, I believe that we are facing a very important and interesting challenge at the international level. We all know that we are almost at the uh, upcoming negotiations on the upcoming post-2015 development agenda. And uh, being uh, the honor to chair or vice chairs the Commission for Social Development, ECOSOC and others, and the Commission on Status of Women, I realized that um, we as a humanity are really in a very difficult situation in terms of how we see ourselves as a human beings, but also as members of families and facing all of the challenges that we have in front of us. Not only poverty, which is of course is very important and fundamental, but at the same time how to deal with um, climate change, um, the several other areas that are affecting families, uh, including the economic challenge posed by the economic and financial crisis, and of course uh, values that are challenged, if we can repeat the, the same word, by uh, the current uh, life we are uh, living right now. In, in this regard, I was thinking on the um, event that we had, uh, the panel, high-level panel that we had in the Commission for Social Development, how to integrate family into the perspective of the uh, post-2015 development agenda. And, and uh, I realized that um, we just came with the idea that uh, family could be just one, let's say, extra goal to be added. And, and and honestly, I think we, we need to rethink that uh, kind of thinking. The reason for that is because family is really the cornerstone of what we as a human being are. And the development of this organization lies precisely in the strength of the family values. Um, of course, human rights um, at the very beginning were uh, highlighting the importance and respect of individuals. But if we have a second thought on what the human rights approach means, we should maybe come up with the, this very interesting point in terms of we are living perhaps a second generation of human rights, what we can call this as a collective human rights. For example, the human right or the, the right to uh, food or to have a healthy life, but most of it, I will say, the, the, uh, the human right to peace. And why I should mention peace in a context of family issues, I think it's fundamental <coughs> because if we look around our planet, the lack of peace is precisely one of the bases for the other problems that we are facing as, as, as human beings as, uh, as well as international community. And peace is not just the absence of war, but also it's a construction, an everyday construction. And uh, that's why this uh, important concept that the United Nations came up, which is culture of peace, is a fundamental for all of us because a culture of peace is also based in a family values. In that regard, I invite to all of you to consider that the contribution that family can do to the post-2015 development agenda is not only as a new goal, but it's part of the whole basic idea of we as a human being need to achieve in the future. If this planet is going to survive or not, it will depend not only on the individuals, but we as a family are uh, the ones who can take important step forward in order to change uh, how the international situation looks like right now. I also tend to believe that if we uh, consider issues, for example, like uh, um, migration or international migration, um, that, you know, for different reasons, uh, this house has not been able yet to fully or properly address it in the context of the General Assembly. And that uh, uh, particular phenomenon is causing a lot of disruption in our families. Why? Well, because men or fathers or either mothers have to migrate to other countries in order to provide 
uh, better good conditions for children who stay at home or when we have seen how uh, a human treatment uh, um, has been evolved we then realize there is a lot of issues that we need to tackle uh, together and family plays a fundamental role in that regard I'm aware and because being here at the UN for many years that there is a traditional debate that is diverting our, um, the issue of family in the context of the UN House related to the uh, sexual and reproductive rights of women. And I think that debate is a wrong debate because it's not about that what we really need to focus the contribution of family. Of course, um, that's my personal point of view, but I believe that uh, family has a lot to contribute to development ahead and not just as a social protection which is true it is part of the social protection floor but more than that it the basis for a society if we are able to survive and learn and to achieve let's say uh, the paradigm from a competition to a more cooperative effort then family will be the example that we should follow. So in that regard, I'm very honored and, uh, to receive this award from the IFFD and I would like just to thank you for being here and to share this thought with me today. Thank you.